is the first night that we start Aviator's new series about Kyle, about this new place, and this new trailer. Uh, I can't, I can't press anything. So we're dealing with FNAF, now we have to go on to life. And there are two lives that we are going to do. And we're going to try probably this life, because this life is the most important life. We're not going to do that today, we'll start that on November 8th. For now, we're going to start our new series, which kind of takes place and time. And there are 18 episodes. It kind of, it's kind of a crossover to the other series, although far different. I'm just gonna grab a burger. Oh, you think that's a bad move? So you're saying I should go to Subway? Imagine for a second that well. we're the first person ever to colonize a planet. Yeah, I'm not even. The first one to set foot on it. The first one to slam your country's flag right into its soil. Think about it. What would it be like? What would you encounter? You're the first one to breathe that air. The first one to see those sights. The first one to touch that ground. It's kind of mind-boggling when you think about it. And that's the opportunity I have in front of me. I get to be the first person ever to set foot on planet X. Well, the first person from my planet, that is. We heard rumors that there might be some type of, uh, I guess, indigenous tribe on this planet. We don't know if they're friendly or not, so I'm going in blind. But I volunteered myself for this because I'm an explorer. And I look forward to adventure. And I can't wait to see what Planet X has in store for me. Oh, wow. This wait, did you say Planet X? X? And it looks like the sun's just about to rise. Now, there's a little village over there. That must be the indigenous tribe they what were What in the world of Planet X? Well, they could be humans for all we know. We don't know if Earth is the only place that has humans. Uh, or they could be dangerous, scary aliens. But uh, I'm going to vote for humans, hopefully. That would be amazing. Imagine if there's another planet in the solar system that has human life. That would be insane. Imagine all the people I can meet and all the stories they would have and all the stories I could tell them. This is going to be a very interesting journey. Now, my ship pretty much was a pod that just landed, dropped me off, and started cycling back to Earth already. Now, oh, wow. I can see Earth from here. And this planet has rain. Huh. Wow, Earth looks so small from Planet X. Probably because we're like 300 light years away. I was pretty much asleep for the last 250 years. It's insane. Uh, everyone I knew back on Earth is probably gone by now. Well, it'll pretty much be another, I don't know, 300 years before more people get here from Earth. So I better start colonizing alone. 300 years. That's kind of sad when you think about it, but this is what I signed up for. Hey, oh God, they have wolves on this planet. And really weird, deadly looking flowers. Okay, so let's read my mission log. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> I was supposed to summon a goddess. A goddess of harvest. If I can summon the harvest goddess, she can help me populate this planet with vegetation. That way we can have food. And humans need food to survive. So let's read this book. This book will show you how to summon the harvest goddess. This pack Expert. is balanced around Harvest Festival. In this pack, your goal is to build up a town, harvest crops, and sell them at your town to get coins. These coins can be used to buy items and parts for other mods. So I guess I can talk to the other people on this planet and try to sell and barter with them? Right now, I don't have any money, so this is going to be really hard. Um, this way, uh, this way is the only way to get those items. If you want to play around with those mob mods... To begin, you need to summon the Harvest Goddess. Okay, so how do we do this? One, find three flowers, one flower pot, and one stick, and one bucket with water. I know, these videos are a little long. We'll get through it. It's like 20 minutes long. Like this. Okay. I Except I'm not doing this. Find some flowers, and a stick, and a flower pot. It would take me at least a hundred episodes to. Look at this tree! It's growing out sideways. That's so weird. Okay, so let's go get the. The children. Okay, I don't know why I started singing. For some reason, I love singing. Humans on this planet because imagine 
other humans means I won't be alone. <laughs> Do I hate ya? Alright, I'm in. Today, and that's my big goal, so put a smile on, put a smile on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nothing funny things, cats playing with yarn balls. Okay, I feel better now. Ah, okay, let's do it. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, uh, hey Gramps, what are you up to? Hello Gramps, and how is your day going so far? Uh, okay, I guess. No, I don't want to sound ominous, otherwise Mom will know that I'm kind of depressed today. Uh, I am good, how are you? I'm good, I have a bit of gas today, but it should pass. Oh my god, that's what that smell is. I thought like a water line or something outside broke. Okay, uh, what should I say to him? That's what that smell is. Well, feel better, Gramps. <laughs> Oh, it makes more I'm sense. Like, I'm gonna say feel better. <laughs> thanks, Zach. Now you have a good day. Go get him. Everyone knows okay, his name is Zach Olson. Oh God, uh, I love him. He, he's a good guy. Oh, mom. Hey, uh, your grandfather sure is a character. So what are you up to today, honey? Okay, so I can I can tell her that I'm gonna go visit Cindy, or I can you know kind of just be vague and tell her I'm gonna hang out with friends. <sighs> Me and my mom are pretty close. I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> Hopefully she doesn't <laughs> judge me and tell me I'm in the friend zone. Okay, I'm going to go visit Cindy. Oh, you are going to hang out with Cindy? Uh, so what will you two be doing? Okay, just hanging out. Nothing too crazy. Okay, that seems pretty safe. Looking for a job together, applying at a few places. Well, that's true. I guess truth always wins, so let's tell her that. You're going to apply for a job? You just graduated high school. What's the rush? Well, truthfully, I want to save up some money so I can ask... Cindy to marry me and then move out to a bigger, grander city. But I don't what? Know what? That. I just want to have some extra spending money. I want to earn some money to venture the world. This town is too small. Boring. No, don't want to tell her the truth. This is one moment where I'm going to lie. Some extra spending money. Well, okay, honey. Have a good day. Okay, see you later, Mom. Okay, so I guess oh, I'll have breakfast later. Maybe I'll catch it with Cindy. I don't know. Okay. Oh, man. Same old, same old here. I guess I could be a little thankful that I grew up in this small town where everyone... Oh, hey, hey, man. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I'm pretty good, Drew. See you later. Okay, so let's go visit Cindy. She's over here. Uh, Cindy, you there? Hello? Hey, Cindy. How you doing? Uh, hey, Zach. I'm glad you are doing this with me. Well, I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> I'm happy to help with anything, Cindy. Okay, both of these sound a little desperate. Uh, which one's less desperate? I'm gonna say I'm happy to help with anything. Oh, you're so sweet. So before we go looking for our first job, I need to ask you a favor. Okay. Sure, anything. What is it? Okay, that sounds a bit eager. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of time to do you favors. I could play hardball with Cindy. Like, <laughs> I, I don't have all that time. Or I could drop to one knee and, and do anything she says, which I think that's the better option. So, sure, anything. What is it? <laughs> Awesome. I need you to run and help my dad. I was supposed to be helping him clear some trees, but I need to get ready for the interviews. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Well, uh, no problem. I guess I'll accept blindly. Thank you, Cindy. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so I know Cindy's dad loves clearing trees because he burns a lot of wood in the winter to keep their home. Alex Guard, what are you doing? <laughs> Cindy's okay. Okay, so I know he chops wood over here in this forest. Ugh. I've chopped wood with him once or twice before, and I'm gonna tell you, it's... I it's know that! Job. He, he, he stays up here hours. Hey, who's that up there? An officer? Military? We don't have a military anywhere near here. Huh. Let me go ask him what he's doing out here. Okay, that's good for tonight. Also, if you guys want me to finish the episode...